um, Robert Crummings. This is probably the most special place in the world I could be because this is the resting place of Paul Mitchell, the man, my mentor. Um, when I come here, I just want to cry. I'll try not to cry for you today, but uh, the spirit of this man, he was a hippie, he had vision, he had insight. He had a solar car long before there was a Prius. So let me show you what gets me goosebumpy. Paul would do hair shows around the world and he would come here to recover. So he'd take two months out of every season to live off the land, he'd eat the fruit here. He was a hippie, a vegetarian. Uh, he's rumored to run around naked. I couldn't say I've seen that but he was quite a magical hairdresser, and people think I'm a great platform artist, but Paul taught me how to do that. He cut hair with curved scissors. He would set women's hair on balloons and then pop the balloons and comb the girl's hair out. He once did a haircut on stage with duct tape. So a lot of the ideas I get, I seen my mentor do that when I was in beauty school, so the imagination it gave me was unbelievable. <laughs> We're actually here at the Hawaii seminar. Uh, this is something Paul started uh, over 25 years ago. He would bring hairdressers to retreat here. And uh, him and a lady called Jean Bra Foster would do updos and show them all things in nature they'd never seen before. And my mentor passed away many years ago. And here he is resting right here. Uh, his birthday was this week, he would have been 83. And he would probably be hanging out with that Tesla guy because he's that type of visionary. But for me, every dream I've had as a hairdresser has come true because I fell in love with this Scotsman called Paul Mitchell. And the other memorial here is Millie, which was his wife at the time. And uh, she was a jazz singer. She had beautiful chocolate skin and curly hair. Uh, he loved her so much, he would go and support her. She would sing to him and that just made him happy. He loved to sing. Uh, he loved to chant, he loved to do things very holistic, I would say, uh, and a, a very pure spiritual kind of guy. Uh, and over here is his mother, who was also a hairdresser. I used to do her hair, I used to perm this lady's hair, she was a sweetheart. Uh, this is Jenny Mitchell. So Angus is kind of through a generation, his mother, uh, his grandmother, his mother, and obviously to him, and perhaps one day his son Dylan, which would be awesome. And then one of my favorites here, and this lady was something, and I just love when you read this memorial. This is John Paul's mother's memorial. So she passed away at the dear age of 93, and if you look at what it says on the bottom at 93, she still could read without glasses and was exceptionally bright. <laughs> but she would come to shows with a kind of Lucille Ball hairdo and sit in my front row. And so you want to do my hair? I said, no, I don't want to lose my job, but she was delightful. And she would dance with younger men as a professional dancer, and she would entertain us at Christmas parties, dancing all night long at 90 years old. So all the special people that come are here, this is the first property JP and Paul bought when they got the company together. They thought if only they got this, they'd have been happy. And then look what it became. And today we did a tour, watching them how to make awapui and drying it out. Uh, I remember seeing a video when I was a little laddie in beauty school of Paul just squeezing the juice and drinking it. And boy, did I drink the Kool-Aid after that. That applause is not for me. <laughs> I get that type of applause when I leave. That's how it works. So this is a special place. Um, Paul used to live in some of the homes here. I'm sure Steph's gonna show you exactly where he would live and hang out. Uh, there's not, it's very minimalist. You're sort of living on a mountainside. Uh, you're living off the land and this couldn't be a better example of what Paul Mitch is about. This is the spirit of our company. And we plan to bring people here every year just to show it off so they can see why we are quite, quite unique to anybody else in the beauty industry. Uh, Awapui is not a theme or a concept we put into copy. It's something we grow here in Hawaii, discovered by our founder, Paul Mitchell.
mama around here, I guess. And um, I'm privileged to be here to live the dream and to carry on Paul's wishes of this beautiful Amapuki farm. And i um, dedicated to... Here, I'm going to show you what they're like. They're not sprouting around, but the roots... This is the roots here. And we... Um, the blast them all off with water and then we take them and we grind them to like little rice sized pieces and dry them, air dry them and it takes about three or four days in the sun and then we grind them into 50,000 some an inch like talcum powder almost and then we send it to Santa Clarita and they reconstitute it in the product we have a big pond there some Hawaiian people live up there and I came down to the pond one day and there was this older ladies all down there doing their hair and they had all these red bulbs. I was going, wow, what are those things? And they told me. So I brought them to the pole. Mm -hmm.